Mamma mia! Hold, Turkey! Stop! Whoa! Oh, I say! Ah oh, no! Merlin, Thomas, watch out! Merlin, watch out! You know, Thomas, after we get- Oh! Oh my stars! Lucky no one was... Out of the way! Oh! Mamma mia! Merlin! You promised you'd be more careful! And now look what you've done! I... well... um... I mean, it's not as bad as it looks. While Lexi continued to her destination with the undamaged part of her train, Toby, Thomas and Merlin helped Hurricane back to the steelworks. <laughs> Thomas! Thomas! Oh, oh, you're back! I didn't think I'd see you again. Uh, who's your new friend? Hello, Theo. It's good to see you again. This is Toby. Uh, hello. Are you an experimental engine? Oh, what? An experimental engine? I've never seen an engine of your shape before. Or one that's made out of wood. Oh, I suppose I do look a little unusual. Hurricane! What did you do to him? They didn't have anything to do with this, Frankie. It was all me. I just had a bit of an accident, that's all. An accident? But now how will you make deliveries? Uh, Frankie, is the load of steel for soda ready? That depends. Depends on what? Hurricane was supposed to take a load of slag to a nearby cement works later today, but now he can't. If you take it for him, we might be able to get you your steel for this evening. Frankie, the accident was my fault. I'll take the slag to- No. If Thomas and I have to help you out so that we can get our steel, we'll do it. But we'll do it alone. There will be no more confusion and delay from you, Merlin. So Frankie gave Toby and Thomas directions to the cement works, and the two engines set off with their load of trucks filled with solidified slag. Toby, do you think maybe you were too hard on Merlin? I know he's excitable sometimes, but he means well. I think I should have been tougher on him earlier, Thomas. Maybe then we could have avoided that crash at the junction. Poor Merlin! Uh, yeah, he means well. Why are you such an old grump, Toby? <laughs> <laughs> Um, Frankie? What is it now, Theo? Uh, did, did you tell Thomas and Toby to take the detour in order to avoid the old rickety bridge, right? Um, I may have forgotten about that. <gasps> but, but, but they could be in trouble! Merlin, you need to go and... I've got to find Thomas and Toby as fast as I can! But I also have to be careful and cautious. I can't afford any more delays today. For Thomas and Toby's sake. I wonder if I take that shortcut at... <gasps> RED SIGNAL! <sighs> Watch it! So far, so good. <clears throat> Onward! I'm not saying that I think he's a bad engine, Thomas, but an engine so reckless can't be really used. Oh, stop! Whoa! No! Don't stop now! Things 
were just getting interesting. Ah, ah, ah. Oh no! <laughs> Toby, are you okay? For now, but please pull me back, Thomas. I'm out of water. Right. Oh. Whoa. Toby. Oh no, not him. Don't worry, Toby. I'll save you. Merlin! That was reckless! But thanks! <laughs> oh, don't mention it, Toby. I do love a good adventure, after all. With the delivery to the cement works complete, Thomas and Toby collected the steel from the steelworks and headed back home. Toby's blessing, Merlin even went with them. Together, the three engines worked to complete the new steel bridge on Thomas's branch line. Sir Topham Hatch was most impressed. It took a little longer than planned, but a job well done nonetheless. You three are really useful engines. Even you, Merlin. Oh, thank you, sir. <laughs>